Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Monday, December 6th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about the tool of technical analysis and how it can be used to make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Before I get to the stocks, I want to just personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering. So if you like what, I, what you're seeing as I go through the video and you want to learn more about this tool and how it can be used to build consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free class. If you're watching on YouTube, then there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, then there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click on to get signed up. So just keep that in the back of your mind. And if you're liking what you see, then definitely get signed up for the free class. Now, before we get into the stocks, a couple of clarification points. First off, I will be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks, as they're called, represents 30 minutes worth of time. And then next, the market is still open for a little bit. So, yes, that candle there will be moving as I go through the video. So, you're not crazy. It is moving, but that's just because the market's uh, not quite closed, but it's, it's close enough to being done that the levels I talk about, I'm very confident, will pertain on Monday. So, first one here, AMC. And this was uh, a very rough day today. Namely because the price came down here and that level right there was doing a great job of acting as support, that trend line. But then you can see late day, the price ultimately did break down below there. So that's you know a, a very bearish dynamic. Now granted, this thing's already been in a downtrend, but this was just that much more confirmation that the downtrend continues. And if there is any sort of you know bigger bounce to the upside, first key level of resistance is now, so I'm just gonna get rid of that line as it served its purpose to show the trend line break. Uh, but the overarching level of resistance right now remains that purple line, the 50 period moving average, which is the level that I would denote as the area where there really shouldn't be any sort of bullishness until the price can at least prove itself a little bit. And I realize those are just words, prove itself, but I am quantifying and defining quote unquote, prove itself as being able to get up above and stay above that purple line. And the reason I say that is you don't wanna get too overexcited because there's been plenty of bounces along the way, but notice, Everything has been below that purple line. So there is a bounce, failed. There is a nice little bounce, failed. Check out that bounce, really failed. There's another bounce right there, failed. So just because the price starts to go up, again, to be fair, maybe that is the start of something much bigger. But my point here is I'd be pretty reserved. I'd be pretty skeptical until the price can at least prove that I can get up to that purple line and then actually get some closes up above it. As far as areas of support going into next week, now let's change that here. Key level going to be, and there's nothing fancy behind this other than the fact of where did the bleeding stop today? And that was at 25, 25. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, overall, the bearishness continues. Next one here, NIO, very popular stock out there. And the, the downwards pressure continues. Talked about this one in the previous top 10 video and how there's a bearish pattern that formed. And while nothing is guaranteed, it wasn't shocking at all to see the price go down today. That was just a bearish pattern and getting continuation. And now just a question of, you know, how far down does this thing ultimately want to carry? Because as you're seeing here, it has been a long Oh, wow. I didn't realize it's been this long since the price been down around that area. So in other words, it is, it has not been down here for, we are talking months upon months. So on that note, main area of support going to be right there at 3150. Once again, nothing fancy behind that other than the fact that that's just finally where the bleeding stopped today. So 3150, maybe some sort of bottoming out point. I mean, to be fair, the price has gone sideways, but also to be fair, I mean, the price has gone sideways before with the price just collapsing to the downside. Um, so that doesn't mean that it's gonna collapse to the downside again, but it also doesn't mean that it's for sure the bottom, but it does at least mean that it's a valid, it's a you know rational question to be wondering, okay, maybe this is some sort of bottom forming. So if you like to try to play bottom bounces, uh, assuming of course you can honor risk and have you know proper risk control systems in place, uh, then from a risk reward standpoint, if you do get the bounce, then yeah, you're looking at a lot of good upside reward. If it doesn't bounce, well then hey, you have a very minimal risk. Once again, assuming you can actually honor stop losses, but like AMC, I would be very skeptical in terms of showing or you know feeling any sort of true bullishness until the price can at least get up above and stay above that purple line because you always got to be careful of dead cat bounces. There is a latest one right there to think that okay everything's okay. No, not really. It was just a little dead cat bounce within the trend itself. Uh, but overall, like I said, 3150 key area of support and then just continue to monitor that 50 period moving average. Next one LCID and nice little bounce here, uh, but with the thing to keep in mind is that within the grand scheme of things, so yes, you do have a nice upwards channel right there, but you do have this big momentum move to the downside, which has actually formed a bear flag pattern. And just because something's bearish, doesn't mean the price will for sure go down. Just like if there's a bullish pattern, doesn't mean for sure the price is gonna go up. However, and I've kind of been talking about this theme anyways, but yes, the price is bouncing. Yes, this could be the start of something bigger, but to sit there and say, okay, everything's perfectly fine. The reversal is underway. 
I think that's a little too premature. Now, I'll be the first to admit, yeah, maybe this is going to turn into some sort of reversal. But to say that it's a reversal right at this very instant, uh, you know, th that's a little deceiving because you know, right now the price could just as easily break to the downside of that bear flag pattern. Uh, so keeping a giant... Uh, uh, eye on that dynamic and you know really th the best way to kind of measure the health of the current bounce is just monitor the bottom part of that that bear flag pattern and as long as the price can actually stay above the bear flag pattern aka that tread line right there well then to be fair uh, there has been no bearish breakdown and you know the, the longer it stays above that tread line then more and more evidence that develops that okay maybe this is actually some sort of bounce that's turning into reversal so moral of the story there definitely that tread line is going to be a, a very helpful and very important level to watch next week as far as any sort of bigger bounces key area to watch from resistance is gonna be that pink line up there at the 200 period moving average currently valid at basically the 50 dollar level so definitely keep an eye on these couple dynamics but in my opinion definitely the mo the main dynamic is going to be that trend line next one pltr again another one of those uh, very popular stocks out there and just a couple of updates need to be made on it going to go ahead and get rid of that as it served its purpose for now but the bit main update here is just based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of support are broken and closable they tend to act as resistance so now if there's going to be any sort of you know potential turnaround step one is going to be can the price at least get back up to 1915 and then break above it because that will be that initial area of resistance and then as you're kind of has developing as a theme here the overarching level to watch is going to be that purple line there 50 period moving average we have a classic example of the power of that 50 period moving average and why prices can of course it's not impossible to break above it but while the price can definitely struggle so those will be the two main areas of resistance on any sort of bounce again 1915 and then that 50 period moving average and then as far as supports are concerned the price finally leveled out here down around 18 dollars and 40 cents so keep an eye on that uh, but like i said yeah it, it's bottoming out yeah it seems to be going sideways does that mean that this is for sure guaranteed the bottom no does it mean that it's valid to start to maybe think that way? Yeah, it's valid, but, and I'm going to keep reiterating this. That's why risk control is so important because there are no guarantees. Just because it's gone sideways doesn't mean that it's going to bounce. Uh, so if you like to play these sorts of situations, you just got to always be, you know, monitoring the, you know, what if I'm wrong uh, side of things and manage that risk. Next one here, TSLA Tesla I've talked about this in the previous top 10 and talked about how there is this bear, uh, bear pennant that formed. And I mean, the, the power of technical analysis and charts, check that out broke to the downside of that bear pennant and then dropped down quite a bit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those lines out as they've served their purpose now to illustrate that pattern. But now we have another couple of interesting levels here that have formed. Just to give a little context here, it's, it's been quite a while since the price went down this low. But the level here now that you, you gotta think a whole lot of people are gonna be watching is 10,000, not 10,000, 1,003. Why is that area interesting? Well, you look right here, you can find, see the price found some support. Fast forward all the way to today and basically not once, but twice, the price has found some support right there. So you better believe every long, short, and everybody in between is watching that level. Of course, the longs are going to be wondering, all right, can we get another bounce from that area? The shorts are going to be watching saying, okay, if that level breaks down, then that could create that much more downside momentum with the next potential area of support being down there right around the $980 mark. So, uh, and rightfully so, nothing's guaranteed for longs or shorts, but the shorts aren't wrong to think that if this 1003 mark is broken, that the price could very real realistically head down to 980, if not lower than that. If the price does try to bounce back upwards, definitely the key area of resistance right now gonna be right up there at the 1060 mark. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, the bearishness continues here on Tesla. Next one here, CTIC. An interesting pattern here that's starting to take shape. So let me get this drawn out. We have a very clear level of resistance right up there around the $1.80 mark. And then we also have this uptrending trend line here that started to form right there. Um, so that'll definitely be very important. Let me actually change that to green as that represents more of the bullish attribute. And from a pattern perspective, uh, you know, maybe the early signs of an ascending triangle, which is one of my favorite uh, patterns, bullish uh, pattern. And like I said earlier, just because bearish patterns form doesn't mean that guarantee the price is going go to go down. And same with this, just because this is a bullish pattern doesn't mean that the price is going to go up. But you got to think a lot of people are watching this pattern. And I make that comment because when lots of people are watching the same patterns and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can definitely produce some very dynamic movements. So keep an eye on that. If the price just kind of bounced around here, then eventually you can get the break up through there. Then that break could definitely generate uh, some additional buying pressure with people just buying because, hey, I'm a breakout player. Hey, this pattern's breaking out. Hey, it's time to buy. So definitely keep an eye on a dollar eighty. Certainly a very interesting level. Now, if the price just crashes down through that support level, well, then this pattern, you know, goes away and is no longer in play. But as of now, yeah, ascending triangle seems to be taking shape. 
Next one here, SQQQ. And this is just one where if you want to make money because you think the, uh, the overall markets in this situation, the NASDAQ is going to keep going down, well, then you can buy this. And if the markets go down, this one actually goes up. And as of right now, it's suggesting that the markets may just continue on going down because this one has got itself a nice bullish pattern here. So let me just draw this out here. Top of the pattern being right up there around 705. Next part of the pattern being right there, that trend line. Again, let me change that to green to represent more of the bullish dynamic here. And then to make this a little easier to see, make this all one color. Again, we have the resistance right there. We have the support right there. We have the momentum move up right there. And then for you visual people, let me put a little golf hole down there. And this is what be known as a bull pennant pattern. So bull pennant here on SQQQ. And again, if you, if you think that the overall markets are gonna go down, then you'd actually buy this because this gives you the ability to make money if markets are going down. Uh, and like I said, because it's a bullish pattern, uh, you know, apparently the market's thinking, or, you know, the general market's thinking that, uh, you know, the NASDAQ itself could be headed down, which is then going to generate this one to get a technical pattern to the, the upside. So 704, 705, going to be that key breakout level. And again, self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. You know, there's going to be a lot of people watching that area right there and wondering, and if the price does break through there, then you got to think that could cause just that much more people to pile in and create that much more momentum. Next one, ARDX, and this is now sitting at a very interesting location, and this will mean a little bit more to those of you that watched the past videos, but I've talked about that green line right there as an area of support at essentially the $1.45 mark, and you look right there, and you can see the prices come down there and, well, bounced right off that level. So if you do like to play pullbacks, well, then, you know, this is a situation where, uh, you know, the overall trend perspective is still perfectly intact. Now, this is a little tricky because I understand that if you're a day trader and you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within 10 minutes, well, then from you, the chart look, for you, the chart looks absolutely terrible. So it may sound goofy for me to say, yeah, everything's perfectly fine, but I am making that comment from the bigger picture point of view, because as long as the price stays above that $1.45 mark, which it's been doing, then from a bigger picture point of view, you still have a set of lows there, you have lows there, you have that low down there. And if you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, then overall, you still have stair steps progressing the upwards direction. So again, from the big picture point of view, even with the pullback today, everything is still perfectly fine. And then as far as resistances are concerned, still, you know, the main level going to be that $1.80 mark. Sure, the price did break above it today, but that didn't last very long and the price broke down back down below it. So any sort of recovery back to the upside, continue to watch that $1.80 mark. Next one, PLUG, and this is mainly more so for people that maybe like to play short. Now, you could play this long. You just got to be careful because you're, you're certainly going against the trend. Uh, but the big pattern here that has formed is we have the support level right there. We have the resistance area right there. And then we have the, again, let's make this all the same color. So we have support. We have resistance. We have the momentum move to the downside. And this would be a bear pennant pattern. So bearish pattern, again, doesn't mean that it's for sure going to go back downwards because to be fair, and that's why, you know, you, you could play from the long side. Maybe this thing is consolidating out and getting ready to head back to the upside, but you also have to acknowledge that's a two-sided coin. And the other side of the coin says that, you know, it's in a downtrend and, you know, a stock that's forming bearish patterns and downtrends. Uh, it's not going to shock anybody if it continues to go down. So if you're someone that likes to play short or buy puts or what have you, uh, then this is one that, you, you know, I'd say put on the watch list. Uh, but as always with anything, whether you're going long or short, uh, you know, you got to manage that risk. But yeah, as far as PLUG, if you like to play bearish patterns in downtrends, I mean, you can see that a very clear downtrend. And hey, looky there. It's that purple line again, the 50 period moving average, which you can see here has been very stubborn towards the price and not allow, allowing it back above it. So uh, yeah, like I said, if you're uh, somebody that likes to play puts or anything like that, uh, then I'd say that get this one on the watch list. Next one, CYAD, and I like this just because it's a very well-defined pattern. So the whole idea of the self-fulfilling prophecy, which I've already talked about, is in play here. So let me get the tread line in place there for the top of the pattern. Bottom of the pattern, very well-defined support level down there at $4.40. Let me change that to green. And then just to keep it all the same color, we have the resistance, we have the support, we have the big momentum move to the upside. We have our golf hole down here. So we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So that's going to be the main dynamic to watch. Uh, so for those of you that like to play this sort of price range, very, very interesting setup, especially when you consider a lot in the market was down today. Uh, so for this one to show strength like this, hey, you know what? Maybe that's a signal that, you know, if it can just consolidate out a little bit more and then make a move back to the upside, you know, any sort of break of that 
uh, you know, resistance part of the pattern could definitely generate some additional interest, some uh, additional momentum, and you never quite know what happens. You got to think that there's probably some shorts with stop losses up above that area. So if the price can crack those highs, uh, you know, it's not guaranteed, but it's reasonable to think that that could create even more buying pressure because now you have, you know, short stop losses starting to go off up around that area. So keep an eye on that. And then again, if you like pullbacks, uh, 440 is a logical area to keep an eye on because there is a track record now of it bouncing from that area. But overall, you definitely got to like the pattern on this one. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here and if you want to take your understanding of the tool of technical analysis to another level and start to use it to build consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free class. It'll be Thursday, December 9th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So certainly get signed up for it. If you enjoy these top 10 videos, then just a quick request on my part, please hit that like button, leave a basic comment down below, say hi, give me a ticker symbol that you traded, give me a smiley face, but those two things, hitting the like button, leaving a simple comment, communicate to me that you enjoy these videos. And as long as I know people are enjoying, then I have no problem at all continuing to put in the time and effort to make them. So I thank you in advance for that feedback. And again, if you wanna learn more about this tool, how to build consistency with it, certainly get signed up for the free class. Everybody take care, have a good week weekend.